Hey everyone, hope you had a good weekend. Today's readings are Exodus chapters 28 through 31 and Philippians chapter 2. I'm not going to lie. There are some parts of Exodus and some parts of the Old Testament that really just don't make for attentive reading. They can be really, really detailed, and if you're not really focused, they can be hard to get through. So that's where I was reading through Exodus chapter 28, when all of a sudden something got me out of my trance. In chapter 28, God is dictating the specifications for a breast piece for a priest, which, according to my Bible's footnotes, was so the priest could symbolically carry the burden of the whole nation on his shoulders as he represented them before God. On this breast piece are stones. Now, pardon if I butcher the pronunciation for some of these stones, but here we go, starting in verse 17 and going through 20. Then mount four rows of precious stones on it. In the first row, there shall be a ruby, a topaz, and a beryl. In the second, a turquoise, a sapphire, and an emerald. In the third row, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. In the fourth row, a chrysolite, an onyx, and a jasper. So I read this and I think, I've seen this somewhere before, but I can't quite figure it out. So I do a search and Google about TikTok and these stones. And wouldn't you know, I find it, except it's discussing a certain set of stones in Revelation 21. In chapter 21, the new Jerusalem is being revealed to John, and guess what stones build up the foundations of the city walls? Starting in verse 19, the first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth onyx, the sixth carnelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth cryosprays, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. So let's compare the lists. Nine out of the 12 stones being used in Exodus are now being used here in Revelation. Now let's go back to that TikTok where I find out something even more interesting about those nine stones from Exodus and then these 12 stones with the three new ones here in Revelation and that these stones are all anisotropic, which means when viewed in cross-polarized light, aka pure light, they produce colors that reflect those of the rainbow. Isotropic ones, a diamond being one of them, lose all of their color. Also, this anisotropic, isotropic fact was only discovered in the last century. So we have these super specific stones discussed in two super specific ways in two separate texts, thousands of years apart, and then thousand years even before we discover what they're capable of in pure light. So we now know their purpose, and when we see them used the way they're supposed to be used in the New Jerusalem, it's going to blow us away. God is good, y'all. God is good. That's all for today's reading. Tomorrow's is Exodus chapters 32 through 34 and Philippians chapter 3. See you later.